Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be creating a wellness spread inside of my health and fitness planner. And I really love this spread that I used last week. I thought it was so stinking cute. So we are going to recreate that for this week. And you're gonna see me here using last week's spread as a guide to kind of recreate it for this week, except we're gonna be using those new Wellness Warrior stickers. Y'all, I am so excited for those. They are so stinking cute. The Wellness Warrior collection is one of my absolute faves. I love it so much. The colors are beautiful. I absolutely love it. So we're definitely, definitely using those this week. Now normally I don't do voiceovers, but I may start doing them in the future because Levi is doing the virtual learning from home. So you guys like this part right here where I'm not on screen, I was actually helping him do his work. And the whole reason why I wanna do a voiceover is I can plan and show you guys my spreads while I'm helping him. And then I can come back later and do a voiceover. So it's kinda of like, you know, I'm, I'm killing two birds with one stone. So instead of sitting here, not doing anything while he's doing his schoolwork, I can get this part done, get the filming done for you guys, and then come back later and do a voiceover. So be expecting voiceovers a little bit more frequently in the future. I don't know if they're gonna stay forever, but for right now, I will definitely be doing more voiceovers. The inspiration for this spread actually come from Miss Juanita, and y'all better be following her over on Instagram because she is like the boho queen. Oh my gosh, I love her spread so stinking much. So Juanita, thank you so much for the inspiration. I love the way that this one turned out. You guys, I will link her Instagram channel. Instagram channel, it's not a channel. Her Instagram profile down below in the description box. Make sure you guys go follow her. All right, here I'm gonna take my Micron in the size 03 and I'm gonna use a ruler to go over the pencil marks to outline the spread. You guys, I am like blind as a bat, and so here you're gonna see my head because I need to get close to these spreads and able in order to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. So if you guys see my head throughout this, that's why your girl cannot see what she's doing. You guys are gonna see me messing with the tip of this micron multiple times. I think I messed it up because it's starting to fray. I don't know if it's from running it across the ruler so much or what I've done to it, but I messed it up somehow. All right, y'all, we have got to talk about erasers for just a minute. You're gonna see me pitch this thing because I do not like the way erasers feel. So I went back to using my pencil because when I use the pencil, I don't have to touch the eraser. <laughs> Is anybody else like that? Like, please tell me I'm not the only one that think that thinks erasers feel very gross. All right, now that we've got that part all finished up, I'm gonna take the handwritten plan sticker book and I'm gonna use the Monday through Sunday stickers to start working on dating the spread for the week. For the last box on the right hand side on the bottom, I will split it between Saturday and Sunday and that's how I get the entire week on one, on one layout. And now comes the super fun part. We're going to be pulling out the Wellness Warrior stickers to decorate the spread. So this sticker here is a habit tracker sticker and I will probably use it to track whether or not I'm hitting my water goal every day. And then I found these really cute stickers that say like checking in, grateful for, reflection, 
and I'm feeling and I thought it was a really great way to kind of bring some journaling in which is one of the main reasons why I love this spread because I have room to track my nutrition my water my workouts and I have room to journal every single day and so I love it so much for that it's not just it's not just fitness and nutrition but I also get to bring in that wellness aspect of journaling and of keeping track of how I'm feeling how I'm doing and um, time to unplug and that kind of thing. I thought this sticker was perfect for the weekend. It says, do what they think you can't do. I don't know about you guys, but I know sometimes for me, for the weekend, I, I start to fall off track with everything and I start to, you know, I don't want to do my workouts and I start eating like crap. And so this is just a great reminder to do, to do it. Just do it. Like you are capable of it. If you're capable of it during the week, you are definitely capable of it during the weekend. Now these little flag stickers are where I will write down how many ounces of water I've had every day. Now I'm going to pull out some box stickers and I'm going to use these to track my workouts. Now here I ended up sticking down this gorgeous Wellness Warrior sticker first because I wanted to use that box sticker for my workout. I kind of wanted to offset it just a little bit so I knew that the sticker had to be put down first. They don't overlap but I just kind of wanted to use it as a guide. All right, so now it is time to put this spread back inside of my planner and then we are going to start setting up the monthly divider for September. So I actually still have July and August in this planner and the way that my planner works is that it's Frankenplanned, which basically means that I've taken multiple planners and I've put them on one set of discs. And then I use this Happy Notes, which is the one with the rainbows. I use it to house my previous spreads from the past months. And then I've also been using the dividers from it to create new months, which I'm actually down to my last divider out of it, which makes me super duper sad because this Happy Notes, the Squad Girls Happy Notes is gorgeous. I love those dividers. So I'll just have to improvise for October, but you guys are gonna see how I create September's monthly layout. So this divider here is the last one that I have from that Happy Notes. And then I'm gonna take the handwritten plan sticker book and we're gonna use it to label this for September. Okay, so now it is time to create September's calendar. And the way that I do this, I'm using dot grid paper and I count uh, 34 dots across and then I also count 34 dots up and down so vertically to create the calendar and then I separate the little blocks you know how like we number the blocks like one two three I separate those by five dots 
and I probably should have explained this while I was actually doing it, but I honestly, I didn't even think about it. So if that sounds super duper complicated and you guys are like, what are you doing? Explain this to me. Let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to actually create a video that's not a voiceover where I'm actually showing you how to create a monthly or calendar for the month. Okay, so here I'm coming back in with that micron. I'm still using the 03 and I'm using it to outline the calendar. And then here in just a second, you're gonna see me pull my planner out to look at September's calendar because I forgot how many days are in September. I couldn't remember if it was 30 or 31. So I had to pull, I had to pull my calendar out to double check. So here we're just going to get rid of those pencil marks and clean these lines up a little bit. And then when I date it and I title it Monday through Sunday, I actually use the Micron 05, not the 03 to do that. I like that a little bit bolder for the numbers and the days of the week. So now I'm going to take a pencil to outline the word September and then I go over top of that with my micron and for that I'm using the 05 as well. Okay, now it is time to get this stuck to that divider that I pulled from the Happy Notes. So I'm going to take my Tombow double-sided tape runner and I'm going to use that to adhere these two pages together. Quick tip if you do this, do it on the discs because that makes it so, so, so much easier. But also account for the roundness of the disc. So don't just pull the pages straight back and try to stick them together because it's not going to line up. Like let the page fall down the disc a little bit if that makes any sense man I am terrible at explaining things but kind of let it fall down just a little bit and then things should line up wonderfully so I'm taking the double-sided tape to fix that part because I accidentally peeled it up a little bit so I'm fixing that and then I'm going to tape down the corners And then for the page on the right side, I'm not for sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Every single month I keep saying I'm gonna use it as a way to track before and after photos, and I have yet to do that. So I'm honestly not so sure what I'm gonna do with it. But for now, we're gonna put another one of these Wellness Warrior stickers, except this one is one of the big ones. So we're gonna stick it at the top and then I'll go from there as the month goes. Who knows what I'll use it for. If you guys have any ideas for what to use it for, let me know down in the comments. So now I'm gonna take an old gift card that I have and I just like to go over top of these clear stickers. This is a personal preference. You do not have to do this, but I just like to go over top of them. It gets, it gets those little bubbles out. They're not actual bubbles, but I don't know. It just smooths everything out. All right, so that is gonna be my wellness spread for this week. If you guys wanna see an after the pin, make sure you are following me over on Instagram. Make sure you are subscribed to me here on YouTube and I will see you guys in the next video.